Hello friends, today we will see how to develop the dependent parameters in BIP report. So for this we will create a sample report. For this we will open the report and analytics. Click on the report and analytics. Then click the browse catalog. To develop a data model, click on the new. Then select the data model. Once the data model is select, create the data set for using the SQL query. So click on the create new data set, select the SQL query, give the appropriate name for the data set. So for this, we'll retrieve the person data from this SQL query. So we'll write the SQL query for that using the per all people left table. So we'll just give the sample query to retrieve the data. So here just we are giving select star from for all people app and applying this is trunk of seed date conditions on effective start date and end date. So that will get the current or active records or latest records from the for all people app table. So for this we'll require the for parameter will require one yellow so we will develop first create will first we will create the yellow v for person number so once query is developed click on the ok and just view view the data so it means our query is right so once click on the view data then we will create the yellow v so for the person number so that we can attach that yellow v to the parameter so create one yellow we give the name select the data source and write a SQL query to get all distinct person number from the query uh, from the our query so that all the person number distinct person number will retrieve from this yellow we so once you have created the yellow we then we can create a parameter and attach that yellow V to that parameter so that will get the distinct person number in that parameter so for this we will create one parameter give the name for the parameter select the data type then select the parameter type as menu then below that you can select the list of value as our we have created the person number so select that person number then save this data model so once we have saved this data model we'll check that our parameter is working fine or not so we'll we are saving this data model and we'll see how this data model will work so click on the data As we have created the parameter and our data set will our query will fetch the uh, data based on the parameter so we'll add that condition in our data set so here you can see the parameter so label that parameter to get the label in parameter so view the data here you can see the parameter so once you have selected any of the parameter from the data and click on the view you will get that particular details from the poor all people app. so this is one sample data model with one parameter so now we'll develop or we'll modify the query in such a way that we'll create one or one more parameter dependent parameter based on person number so first for that we'll create one yellow V for assignment number so that whatever the person number we have selected respective assignment number only fetch from this parameter so first we will create the all the uh, yellow V for assignment number so we'll write a query for that in such a way that we'll get the respective assignment number for that person which we have selected from first parameter so we'll develop a query we 
we are developing the query and here we are we will pass that person number with that parameter so that we will get the respective assignment number only for respective person number which we have selected in first parameter so here we are adding one more condition to get respective assignment number only so person number is equal to we will bind that parameter to this so we will get the respective assignment number so once your yellow is created create the parameter based on this yellowing so we will create parameter one more parameter which should be second parameter for assignment number and attach that yellowing to this parameter Select that yellow V, attach that yellow V to the parameter and give the display label. So, in this way, we will get the two parameters in our data set. But first, we have to modify our SQL query as well because in SQL query we have used only for all people. So, we are attaching assignment table as well to get assignment details based on our two parameters so we'll modify our person data query we are adding one more table for all assignments details so we'll get the assignment details from this query based on the parameters what we have selected for person number and assignment number so here we are joining those two tables using person id only selecting the few of the columns as person number then assignment number from assignment table then effective start date from assignment table and effective end date from the assignment table so these are the columns we will retrieve from the So here you can see once you have selected the person number assignment only those assignment number will got printed over here so if you change our person number it will all it will change the assignment number yellow v as well so likewise you can develop the dependent yellow v or dependent parameter so here we have selected the another person number assignment number got automatically changed after the change in the first parameter so likewise you can develop a report and attach add a attached report to this uh, data model and based uh, based on this you can develop the dependent parameter report thank you